Hello children welcome back to another video from science world i hope you are doing well and getting help from my videos children in this video we are going to read chapter number 13 transportation and communication question answers and book exercises social science class 5 milestones book so let's start with book exercises first exercise a choose the correct option from the following question number 1 india is connected to dash by the hindustan tibet route and the correct answer is china india is connected to china by the hindustan tibet road question number 2 the right brothers made their first flight in dash which year and the correct answer is 1903 this is the year when right brothers made their first flight question number 3 postal services were established during the dash century and the correct answer is 19th century postal services were established during 19th century question number 4 telegraphic messages are known as dash and the correct answer is telegram telegraphic messages are known as telegram here we have finished uh, choose the correct option next exercise b is fill in the blanks question number 1 the invention of the dash played an important role in enabling humans to carry heavy loads on cart and the correct answer is wheel wheel was very important invention for early humans because it helped them to carry heavy loads on the carts they made carts from the wheels question number 2 transporting goods by a ship is dash as compared to roadways and airways and the correct answer is cheaper roadways and airways are costly as compared to the waterways and that's why transporting goods by a ship is cheaper question number 3 in some cities a mini rail system called dash is used to transport people and the correct answer is metro a mini rail system called metro is used to transport people it is called metro rail system Question number 4 In the past messages were sent on horseback or through dash and the correct answer is pigeon pigeons were used to send the messages in ancient time when there were no telephones there were uh, no uh, computers there were no telegrams so uh, during that time pigeons were used or uh, persons were sent on the horseback to carry the messages Question number 5 mass media means communicating with dash people at the same time we have already learned in the chapter that there are two types of uh, communication personal communication and mass communication so when we are dealing with a lot of people at once at the same time then it is called a mass media next exercise match the following first grand trunk road we will match it with sher shah suri he constructed this road grand trunk road second north atlantic route it connects europe and north america south atlantic route it connects europe and south america and documentary documentary is an informative film it is called documentary then next we have write t for true and f for false Question number 1 Many years back we used the telegram to make a trunk call and this is false statement because we didn't use uh, telegram but we use telephone hai na to make a trunk call so this answer is false second oil is transported in freighters this is also false because oil is not transported in freighters freighters is used to carry or transport very heavy loads oil tanker is used to transport oil question number 3 radio is a form of wireless communication and this is absolutely correct sentence because in radio there is no connection of wires uh, to the transmission station so that is why it is called wireless communication number 4 emails can be used to send messages instantly and this is also true sentence If you want to send instant messages you can use emails 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव सिनेमा इज अ पॉपुलर फॉर्म ऑफ पर्सनल कम्युनिकेशन एंड दिस इज फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज सिनेमा इज अ मीन्स ऑफ मास कम्युनिकेशन नॉट द पर्सनल कम्युनिकेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन द चैप्टर दैट पर्सनल कम्युनिकेशन मीन्स कनेक्शन बिटवीन टू पीपल ओनली एंड कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन टू पीपल एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन मीन्स यू आर कनेक्टिंग विथ कम्युनिकेटिंग विथ लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल एट द सेम टाइम सो नाउ लेट एस रीड क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन एक्सरसाइज ई आंसर द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ एयर ट्रैवल यू हैव टू राइट एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ एयर ट्रैवल और एयर ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इट इज इयर एडवांटेजेस आर फर्स्ट इट इज द फास्टेस्ट मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट एज कंपेयर टू द रोडवेज एंड वाटरवेज इट इज फास्टेस्ट मीन्स सेकेंड इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर्स रोड और ट्रैक्स लाइक रेलवेज इज डज नॉट रिक्वायर ट्रैक्स एंड लाइक other means of transport uh, like um, trucks and buses and cars they need roads you right? know it is called road transport so it is not required uh, in the air travel third useful in defense of country while the uh, while war or any uh, threaten threatening from the neighboring countries at that time it is very helpful in the defense of our country number 4 it is accessible to all areas like hills and mountains during the natural calamities if there is any natural calamity like floods or uh, earthquake or landslide so uh, during this time helicopters and uh, uh, aircrafts they are used to carry people to rescue people and to give them or to support them or to supply them medicines clothes and food packets etc so it is very helpful during the natural calamities now there are some disadvantages and the first one is chances of accidents are more than other mode of transport so in air transport chances of accidents are more second it is very exp- expensive everyone cannot afford it you know it is very expensive number 3 land capacity is less land capacity is very less and number 4 depends on the weather forecast so traveling by air is totally uh, depend on the weather forecast if weather is good then you can travel by air if it is not good then you will be not able to fly in aeroplane then next we have second question how has the opening of the suez canal reduced the travel time between countries and the answer is earlier ships were traveling from europe to the middle east and they had to go around africa you know so they have to cover they had to cover more distance when they are uh, going around africa but what happened after suez canal opening after the opening of the suez canal this traveling time has been reduced by almost half so the time period that was taken uh, before the opening of suez canal was just reduced it has been reduced by the Uh, a half time we can say I means suppose you are taking 6 uh, uh, or 8 hours then it is just half of that time duration so in this way now people can save their time then we have question number 3 how does the postal service work and the answer is people drop postcards and letters in the post boxes first we have to drop our letters postcards envelopes inland letters whatever it is we have to uh, reach the post boxes and we have to drop there from here these are collected taken to the post offices and sorted and then sent to the addresses where they are supposed to go so from this all the post boxes the postman collects all these pap- uh, postal uh, documents or we can say postcards inland letters envelopes these postmen uh, collect them and take to the post offices in post offices they are sorted according to their addresses and then they are sent to the addresses they are sent by roads rails or by air these postcards and letters are then sent by roads or rails uh, rails or by air to their destinations so in this way the postal services work 
देन वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर हाउ हैव द मॉडर्न हाईवेज हेल्प टू इम्प्रूव कनेक्टिविटी एंड आंसर इज द मॉडर्न हाईवेज हेल्प टू इम्प्रूव कनेक्टिविटी इन द फॉलोइंग वेज फर्स्ट हाईवेज मेड जर्नी फास्टर कंफर्टेबल एंड सेफर दैन यूजल हाईवेज मेड जर्नी फास्टर कंफर्टेबल एंड सेफर दैन यूजल एंड इन दिस वे द हाईवेज हेल्प अस सेकेंड वन इट रिड्यूस फ्यूल कंजप्शन इट ऑल्सो रिड्यूस इज फ्यूल कंजप्शन बिकॉज अवर कार और बाइक और स्कूटी वॉट एवर यू आर यूजिंग इट टेक्स ऑलमोस्ट सेम स्पीड वी कैन कीप देर है ना सो इन दिस वे फूल फ्यूल कंजप्शन इज ऑल्सो लेस थर्ड पॉइंट हाईवेज मेड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड गुड्स रिलायबल एंड टाइमली बिकॉज ऑफ हाईवेज गुड्स कैन रीच देयर डेस्टिनेशन टाइमली सो इट सेव्स द एनर्जी इट सेव्स द फ्यूल इट सेव्स द टाइम ऑल्सो सो इन दिस वे हाईवेज हैव मेड अवर जर्नी कंफर्टेबल देन वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव हाउ डिड मीन्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इवॉल्व ओवर द इयर्स एंड द आंसर इज अर्ली ह्यूमन्स कम्युनिकेटेड थ्रू जेस्चर्स एंड साउंड्स सो दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट मोड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन ऑफ अर्ली ह्यूमन्स through gestures and sounds then they started communicating by signs and pictures then they started using different signs and pictures then they started writing on clay tablet they started writing first on clay tablets then they uh, they started writing on leaves and then on the paper they started sending letters and messages on horseback or through pigeons and thus they were Uh, communicating with each other later humans started using letters telegrams telegraphs and nowadays we use emails fax and other mode uh, modern means of communication so today's fastest mode of communication is uh, our mobile we can send messages through whatsapp through telegram or we can send message through email or we can just call the person whom you want whom we want to talk okay so in this way means of communication have evolved over the years it is more convenient it is more faster than the previous one then we have next question how can television and cinema help in communication and the answer is television and cinema help to educate people they help to educate people through audio visual communication see television and cinema they are audio visual means you can uh, see the pictures also and say at the same time you can hear the sound also you know so when we see and when we at the same time when we uh, see the things and listen the things we can remember them uh, for longer time you know so in this way uh, the effect of that audio visual is more they also help in raising awareness about many social issues like child labor literacy child marriage etc social awareness is also there through the television and cinema they entertain and help to understand cultures of different places we can uh, watch movies we can watch documentary films we can watch uh, cultural programs on television and uh, and cinema also providing some good movies uh, which are helping to understand different cultures they reach large audience effectively at the same time and the most important part of this television and cinema is uh, they are means of mass communication means at the same time they are connecting so many people lot of uh, people they are connecting so they reach a large audience effectively at the same time means one message can be sent by this television or cinema cinema at the same time to a large number of people then next we have exercise a think and answer question number 1 is why are passengers asked to uh, switch off their mobile phones once they are seated in an aeroplane so why you are asked to switch the mobile phone if you are traveling in the aeroplane so the answer is passengers are asked to switch off their mobile phones to prevent interference with aircraft's communication and navigation system 
and safety of flight so to prevent the interference or disturbance with the aircraft communication see the people or the pilots that are uh, flying this aircraft no so they are continuously communicating with the uh, officers which are on land which are at the airport okay so if it gets disturbed then there will be some problem uh, with the safety of the flight okay and that's why people are told to switch off their phones once they are seated in an aeroplane question number 2 what will happen if the railways go on strike list out 5 to 6 areas of day to day which will be most affected and the answer is if the railways go on strike these will be inconvenience for passengers there will be inconvenience for the passengers it will lead to overcrowding in other modes of transport and because of this other modes of transport will get overcrowded there will be more crowd it will affect mostly the industries because most of the raw materials heavy goods it is transported by the railways then healthcare system it will also get affected employment many people will lose their uh, employment so they will become unemployed then food food will also be get affected because many food items are uh, transported by railways then tourism tourism is the most important uh, reason or most important part of the indian railway system because daily thousands of people lakhs of people are traveling by railways you know they are traveling from north to south they are traveling from east to west they are traveling from each corner of the country so it will be most affected tourism will be most affected region so children thank you for watching this video we'll meet soon in our next video till then take care bye bye